Greetings my friends, in the next 10 minutes I'm going to go over basically every accessory that you could potentially buy from Gamegenic. I'm going to tell you how good they are, if they're worth picking up, so you know what you need to buy as you start your journey into Star Wars Unlimited. So I bought a lot of these Game Genic accessories. So today we're going to look at the Deck Pod. We're also going to look at the Soft Crate. We're also going to look at the Premium Tokens. We've got a Game Map. In fact, we've got the large Game Map with the Player Area set. We also have some Art Sleeves and we also have a bunch of Deck Covers. So let's get in, let's look at all six of these products and I'll give you a rundown on whether or not each one is worth grabbing. Okay, so we'll look at the Token Box slash Soft Crate from Gamegenic. This was about seven bucks UK. So it comes in a nice little cardboard box and inside you've got this plastic container, which obviously can hold a deck. You open it up. You've also got a second little token box that has like a little snap, so you can snap it open. You can put all your tokens, health, mana, etc., inside there. I'm going to say mana forever. Resources, um, any tokens that are going to monitor that, you put that into the box. Then. Here's 60 cards, so just as you so you can see what 60 cards actually look like inside. So there would be plenty of room to sleeve these cards, um, loads of room in there. So you can even fit your side deck in there as well. So seven bucks, get your little token box. Uh, I would actually, if I was buying one of these, or I have bought one of these, I think I would actually keep this little cardboard box because then I feel like I could throw it back in the cardboard box. It's very easy to put back into the cardboard box. The cardboard box would fit very nicely like I could just throw that in my backpack and not worry about it because I mean th these plastic things will degrade over time so for seven bucks if you just want to store a deck that you, you that you care a little bit about then this is absolutely perfect all right next product so these are the premium tokens that came with the game these were actually quite expensive 26 bucks for the premium tokens so they come in this little bag uh, and you're going to see tokens in here for everything how many tokens do you actually get yeah you get quite a lot oh let me not drop one on the floor so um you've got tokens for I guess like damage, incoming damage, lots of red tokens for damage. You've got tokens for, I'm not even sure what the yellow one is. You've got your plus one, plus one tokens, cool. Uh, you've got, I think there must, there needs to be a key or something actually. You've got your initiative token here as well, a very Star Wars initiative token, cool. Uh, so you've got blue ones that are like exclamation marks. You have lots of plus ones, lots of 10 damage. These ones could almost be shields. Are these shields? Maybe? Um, yeah, so lots and lots of different tokens. Some that I'm actually not familiar with. And I've played the game like five times, but I have only used the starter deck. But um, it seems like, having played the starter deck, we were using dice. So we we're using dice for, you know, damage incoming. We were using the one plus one tokens for experience. We were using shield tokens. Um, so I guess you've got a few extra ones in here. These blue exclamation marks, these yellow X's, and um, your initial counter as well. 26 bucks is maybe a little steep for these, but I guess it does seem to cover everything you might need. So, um, cool. A decent amount of tokens. You, I can't imagine you would need any more than this ever. And they would all fit really nicely into that little box from the deck pod. So here is your little box that you would get. And you can see clearly here that all these tokens would fit more than perfectly into that. So I guess if you're looking for a cheap, quick way to do it, that would be it, right? You could put them in this little pod, you could buy these token sets, um, and then you'll be good to go for playing uh, Star Wars Unlimited. We also have this deck pod, which you can see here was quite pricey at 30 bucks. I have heard very good things about the deck pod, but I do not really know myself if it is good. I figured I'd buy one of these for my main tournament deck. Uh, I'll try and peel that off later. Let's get straight boxed into this. So, oh, sticky thing. Let me see if I can get it off. Yes, cool. Okay, I was going to say, these things are usually the bane of my life. Okay, so this is the deck pod. I might actually keep the cardboard box for this as well, again, because I'm probably just going to throw, throw this stuff in a backpack when I go travelling, and it'll be rummaging, rolling around inside the backpack. It'll probably get damaged because it's in the backpack, so keeping these cardboard boxes might actually be a really good idea for me. So they come in nice cardboard, we can see that. Um, all the stuff seems pretty good quality. So what the deck pod is, I guess is the idea it is for a special deck. You also do get a deck pod double. So this bit comes off. There is something inside here. Uh, thank you from Gamegenic. Thank you for choosing Gamegenic. It seems pretty cool, not really sure what it's for. Uh, and then, 
Okay, it's going to be stumped. How do you... I thought the idea was that this bit came out. Ah, it's magnets, I think. So that pulls down. Here you go. A little token holder, a little bit of silicon gel in there, I guess. I kept some of the tokens to show you. What, the tokens that come from Game Genic, again, they would easily fit inside there. A uh, 60 card deck. Obviously this isn't sleeved, but you could see there, it doesn't even fill up half the space. So I guess if you had them sleeved, maybe they take up another half inch or something, so you'd still have loads of space inside there. Um, and then, alright, so this slides out, so this would be for your leader. So I guess the idea is that you can put your leader, it looks like this ping's open. Instructions would be nice, but um, I can figure out. I mean, I am not the smartest cookie, but I can figure it out. So this slides apart. I guess you could put your leader card inside. Let's just put a random card inside. We could put the Homestead Militia inside. And then, and it looks again like there'd be room to sleeve that card. So we can sleeve that card, we can put it inside, we can push it back down into the deck pod. So if you had multiple decks, when you close them all back up together, you can see this is my Darth Vader deck, or this is my... Actually really nice. Look, it's really, it feels really high quality. Um, I think this would be worth it if you're going to an event that is all you need for your tournament deck um the top comes off i'm not really sure what you're using the top for the top does come off someone in the comments can tell me why you're, you're taking the top off and then your card fits in there nicely your tokens fit in there there nicely um looks like you would put something in here as well maybe like a score sheet or something not entirely sure what does it say in the box does it say anything it says in english it's got an additional, so one card, one side card case, additional UV protection to keep the leader card safe, identify the deck without opening the box, a detachable case, leaders can be used during gameplay in the case, additional design pocket, oh my goodness, I can't speak, additional designed pocket to safely store the base card, always ready for play. Ah, so your base card goes in that pocket, that is what that is for, so you always have your base ready to go. Um, a drawer for tokens, a convertible system, a removal clips fits perfectly to the bottom, and a strong magnet for precise closure. Uh, premium outer and inner materials. Yes, it feels very, very nice. So I think basically what they're saying is that the bottom bit can fit together. So when you open it, you can put it all back together like that, and I guess you can have your deck in there. Very nice, very nice. Very impressed with this deck pod. Wasn't sure, quite expensive, but I think it's probably worth grabbing. Uh, branded, really nice. I chose red. I think red is kind of striking. So, all right, let's do another product. I also got two variants of card sleeves. These are your standard 60 sleeves with one clear sleeve. The one clear sleeve is obviously for your leader because he needs to be in a double-sided. So these ones come branded. Um, again, there was choices. This is basically the red lightsabers type backing card. So here is a uh, Star Wars Unlimited card sleeve. Let's grab that Homestead Militia again. Let's fire him in here. And um, super easy to sleeve, super easy to play with. You get your one clear sleeve. Uh, these sleeves seem pretty decent quality. Um, absolutely fine. Uh, these these guys were not expensive, were they? So the pack of 60 red sleeves was seven bucks. So that seems absolutely fine. A little bit more expensive. You can get generic sleeves a little bit cheaper but seven bucks for the star wars branded ones is pretty nice and then this is your double sleeving pack so this is possibly for your super important deck the your foil cards whatever you want to to do it so these come in like you basically get four little packets here and these are double sleeves so in this case we're going to get a, a regular sleeve like the one we just saw for darth vader so you would get your Darth Vader style back sleeve. So, I mean, it could work for a Darth Vader deck, but you could make any deck you want. And then you have a second sleeve. So I think these are a bit overkill. I didn't actually, like I've used card sleeves for years and I, I didn't necessarily mean to buy these, but um, I thought that they, I thought I was buying the right thing. Uh, I, I, I bought all the accessories. Probably should have bought more boosters. I bought all the accessories. So this means you can sleeve up and you can sleeve down like this. So if you had foil cards or really good cards that you really want to keep nicely, you can double sleeve these with the double sleeving pack. So you get two slots, one of the matte outer sleeves, one of the backed sleeves, so 60 of each of them, and then you get your one clear sleeve for the leader. Um, so that is 
the double sleeving and the single sleeving. I think single sleeving is fine, but I guess there are good. People are gonna have some very, very cool cards. Maybe you really wanna protect them. Probably don't wanna protect a Homestead Militia, but hey, maybe you just wanna protect your deck that you're carrying everywhere all the time. And this is probably the best way to do it. Double sleeve was 12 bucks, I believe. The final product I want to talk to you about is the two-player XL game mat. They do make single-player versions of these, which is probably what I should bought. But I've bought the giant one that doesn't actually fit on this desk, but I'm going to keep it because it's so cool. It is 30 bucks, and it is 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters, which is 20 and a half, 27 and a half inches. So look at the size of this thing. This is a very, very significant size, premium quality desk mat that when I roll this thing out, I'm going to have to move my camera up, hopefully not too far up above my head. Um, you'll see here that the mat basically divides the game out for you. So if you are going to be playing friends uh, and you've got a table that's big enough to, <laughs> my computer desk is not big enough to fit this one, but basically if we put it, if we try and get this one side, you can see here you can place your base, you can place your leader, you can place your space units over another side, which I can't, I can't get my camera any higher. You've got a ground unit section over here, you've got the section at the resources, you've got your initiative counter over at the other side, which is behind me, let me pull it this way a bit. You've got room for your deck, you've got room for your discard pile, you can see the ground units here, and then it mirrors. And it's kind of like going into hyperspace, isn't it? So this is very premium quality, feels probably similar quality to like a uh, a mouse mat that would have like a, a, a very nice design on it, like a Razor mouse mat or a Steel Series mouse mat. You can buy the half size mats for 20 quid. That's probably what you should have bought because a half size mat would probably fit on this desk quite nicely. I bought the big one. This one I'm going to keep because I think it's going to be great to play against my friends. It makes the board super easy for people to understand. The half side mats do not break the board out like this where your cards are. So this is actually much more new player friendly. One of the reasons I'm going to keep it, I want more people to know how to play the game. And I'm going to play against my wife with this, hopefully. So um, I think this is another high quality product. I don't regret buying it at all, even though it is giant. Um, and that is the last of the products that I'm looking at today. So thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content from us at the Unlimited Power TCG channel. We've got so much more planned and I hope you're excited about Star Wars Unlimited as we are. May the Force be with you, my friends. Till next time. Peace.